Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Skype connection problem you might be having where it says, sorry we could not connect to Skype, please check your internet connection. So, it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and this should work for a good number of you. Now, this will not work for everybody, but it should work for a good number of people. I do have to disclaim that because there's no one fix that will work for every single instance of this. There's always a good chance that your internet connection is disconnected or you're not connected to the internet, in which case this tutorial will not work for you, like if you're not able to get onto Facebook or Google or whatnot. So I just want to make that pretty clear. But once we have ensured that we have an actual internet connection, what we're going to do is head to the start menu and you want to type in Internet Explorer and you want to open up Internet Explorer here and you want to go up and left click on the little gear icon right next to the smiley face it should say tools if you hover over it and then you want to left click on Internet Options so now underneath Internet Options you want to go and left click on the Advanced tab it should be on the far right side so it should be pretty easy to navigate to and once you have done that you want to scroll down on this list until you get to near the bottom where it says use TLS 1.0, 1 1.1 and 1.2 you want to make sure they are all checked once you've ensured they are all check marked you want to click on OK If you're also experiencing a problem with Skype, you can always try reinstalling it from their website. That's always also an option, or you can go through the Windows Store. So there should be other ways in order to resolve this issue. If you have any restore points, I'd recommend you employ them as well. So restore your computer back to an earlier time if you are experiencing a problem with Skype at this time. But hopefully going through Internet Options should resolve this issue. Like I said, if you do not have Internet access to begin with, obviously this will not suddenly connect you to the Internet. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.